with Sean from the Velvet Attic here again. Um, I just wanted to pop in quickly and um, show you a quick video about our Velvet Attic Bunny Tail Book Box Kits um, that are available to order and what you basically get with them. So this is the finished item. Lift it up for you a bit. It's a little wooden MDF book box. The tail of a bunny that you can store your goodies in, decorate your tables and coffee tables with your children's rooms, give you heart desires. Um, so this is the one I finished and made um, and I'm just going to go through everything you get and what it entails. So the idea behind the book box kits was number one, convenience, cost effectiveness um, and something you can just maybe even give as a gift, an ideal gift to somebody you know who is perhaps creative, um, loves to do decorative painting or chalk painting or um, mixed media is that kind of thing, uh, it will appeal to so many people. Um, we have multiple kits and I'll do a few videos for you, um, just quickly showing the ones we have at the moment and ones that we are launching now. Um, so yes, uh, let's get on with it and let me show you quickly. So when you get your kit, and when our stockers get our kits, it's basically packaged in a little box, like so conveniently, with a little ribbon and obviously a um, label that tells you what's inside the box and they, you can create your own beautiful bunny's tail book box using our all-inclusive 10-piece kit there's a list of all the kits pieces for you okay very pretty very nice very convenient when you open up your kit you're going to get a small mdf wooden box book box okay can see it there. Um, I always recommend you just take your screws out and your hinges off before you start painting. If you need to give a quick sand on some edges, go for it. But generally, you won't have to do much here. Um, the kits don't come with paints, glues, brushes, those sort of things. And the reason we did that, number one, for cost effectiveness. Secondly, um, most people have some chalk paint or paint lying around and they might not want to do the colors I did and this you know this will allow you some variation where you can perhaps do different colorings or if you want to put it in a boy's room you could do blue on the bunny as a stencil um, the, you know it just gives you a little bit more leeway to create um, so there's your book box you're gonna get a small book box uh, let me just see a quickly it measures 185 by 145 by 40 mils okay so about an a between the a6 and a5 size you're also going to get this very pretty serviette. Just open it up for you. Yeah? Of the roses. Um, I basically used it just inside the book box. Here you'll see it on the inside. And then I did some distressing and shading around the outside. And um, this technique of shading I actually taught in our previous video, which you'll see of our Maria Antoinette and Madame de Pompidou mixed media canvases. And I showed how to float this kind of dark brown edgings and that. Um, the serviette you will need to separate the three layers and then just work with the top layer um, and then adhere it as per normal serviette standard decoupage. Um, I'll do a few videos of other techniques coming in soon, short videos just to show you quickly how to do those kind of things. Then you get our nameplate which goes on the side that you can just glue on with normal craft glue, no problem, all wood glue will work too. I basically base coated it in the same Art Deco brown I used on the box and then I dry brushed with our dusty pink which is du parfum and our metallic gold and then I made it a little stronger there and lined in a bit of writing with a liner brush. Um, so that is the difference in the effect you can create using um, the name plates. These are from our miniature embellishment ranges um, or range. So lovely good quality stunning to work with then you'll see in your kit you're going to get a two layer stencil that we supply you with of our bunnies we actually have quite a few of these in our stencil ranges um, including this one of different positions facing forward facing sideways standing like this we have uh, lace ones we have dot ones little spots 
We've also got little striped ones, like little gel bag ones. So we've got quite a bit of variety there. This one, the floral one, um, you'll see you've got two stencils. So basically you've got a silhouette stencil like that, and you've got a pattern stencil. And the beauty of a two-layer stencil is it's going to give you um, the option to have three colors showing. Um, I'll explain here. For example, you, I've used La Magie here, which is our cream color. Um, I did the silhouette in our Art Deco dark brown, and then I've done the actual pattern of the florals and the scrolls in our Du Parfum. So it allows you three colors. Um, whereas a standard stencil, if you'd just done, let's say, um, the silhouette on its own, you'd only have La Magie and Art Deco, or La Magie and the floral. Now you've got three colors. So you're creating a little more dimension to your stencil, and I think that's quite exciting. You'll also see we've got some lovely script running across the side here. Just faint, um, indistinct kind of script. You don't want to actually be able to read it 100%. Just to pretty it up. That's going to be this A5 stencil you're going to get. It can be used on a lot of other things as well and other pieces you do. Quite a useful little stencil. Um, and then just, you know, stencil it on. I use the Art Deco as per normal. Then you're going to get some talk and lays. Enough to run down the side of your book box. Okay, obviously you can glue this on with your wood glue or your craft glue, just make sure it's clear drying. Um, and you can actually put your hinges over it like I did here. When I screwed it all back together, you can just go through, it's fine, and it'll just finish it off beautifully and I just glued it around the edges. Um, so you can do that too. You can also use a little bit of masking tape and do some little book stripes along the bottom there to give it a little bit more authenticity. Um, and we can't have a bunny without a crown. Okay, that's just blasphemy. So we're going to give you a little chipboard crown to put above your bunny. We're also going to include the pretty pink diamante or rhinestone that you can glue onto your crown. And we're also including, sorry, they're also finicky, the little clear one that you can add to his eyes or her eye. So there's the pink one on the crown, just a little more, and here's the clear one, just perfectly placed for that flower with the eye. Um, as far as the crown goes, I base coated it in our Art Deco, and I dry brushed some metallic gold on it, our metallic gold. And then I just glued the diamantes on with standard craft glue, clear drying glue whichever works um, for you. I also then dry brushed a little bit of brown as well as metallic on my book pages just to liven it up and that is basically it. It's not difficult painting, it's fun, it's creative, you can do it by yourself, you can do it with your friends, stockers can do it in classes for you, you can purchase from our stockers if they haven't got, ask them to order it for you or you can order it directly from us. Um, and then you can get your kit as well and start your, your projects. This is the perfect time for painting. Weather's getting cooler. Um, stay indoors, paint your little boxes up. The next video I'll do, I'll show you our beautiful birdhouse kit that we have as well. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Um, send messages, ask questions. Uh, you can go to our YouTube channel as well. You can subscribe there. We'd love to hear from you all. Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.